Thought I'd get down here to the river again. Check the river levels. I was watching. They have a show on location reports. And it looks like people are not too. Uh, I don't think the salmon are running yet, but there were some good pictures of steelhead people have caught. So. And they were do, checking the river levels from the state website and stuff. And I got some new shoes, so I had to break them in. <laughs> Looks like it's gone down just a little bit. It hasn't ra really rained that much. They keep blowing the forecast. It was supposed to be raining today, uh, but it, there's nothing. So what does anybody think about that 1.2 trillion dollars that just got passed? And the budget that Biden is uh, proposing is another 7.2 trillion dollars. And if you actually go look, I mean Forbes covers it, um, maybe some other social media, but uh, Chip Roy was up there. Quoting stuff that's in the bill. <laughs> and uh, it's transgender sh stuff, gay stuff. Uh, what was it, gay housing in New York or something? They're going to give, you know, a couple, quite a few million dollars to that to support that. And too many earmarks. Cut all the earmarks off. That's why we need the, you know, constitutional amendment to say, hey, pass a minimum defense. Social Security, Medicare, states can piss off. Because all the states do is they, they take that money and it goes into a general fund if you actually look into it. It's just, no, we're already bankrupt. And I did post something on, on the Second Amendment. Uh, well, it was just a post from Guns and Gadgets because I really like him. But, uh, you know, DOJ is taking it upon themselves to try to create a federal red flag law that's a cool rock but and anybody see that those hundreds of immigrants that were in the fence and the barbed wire and stuff down in Texas the other day hmm and in my opinion you Google will probably take this down, YouTube, whatever. Uh, I think we should have some 50 cows on the border. You do that, good luck. I mean, <laughs> at least shoot it over their heads. I mean, a lot of the military guys probably understand this, but, you know, when you're going through basic training, you're, uh, well, one of the courses at Fort uh, Leonard Wood, we had to go through his obstacle course at night. And they're fine, firing tracers at five feet above your head, you know, and they tell you it's three feet, so keep your ass down, but yeah, it was a lot higher than that. As much as I want to say this country has some hope, I truly do, unless people get off their ass. I mean, I called my representative yesterday and wanted to create a case with my troubles with the VA and they're like oh no you got to do it online and I'm like well eight months ago I didn't have to do it online I just get tired of all this bullshit of you got to do it online got to do it online some fairly good rapids there are not too big but I think the lower the river gets the more rocks you know are exposed and the rapids get a little higher I don't know that's why I come down here check on the river see what's going on
I'm not promoting anything here, but uh, I got some Skechers, and these things are freaking awesome. <laughs> Shoes, they just feel really comfortable. And I mean, it's Saturday, and there's only one other car in the parking lot, and the guy's got his feet up. He's like he's sleeping or something. So I don't know why people aren't out more. Yeah, that's a good skipping rock. That thing is thin. All right, we'll try this. I'll see if I can hold the camera right. I'll throw it over here. Whoops. Oh, that was a high bounce, but only two. <laughs> And uh, did anybody see what happened in Russia, in Moscow? I think it was in Moscow. ISIS claims responsibility for all those people dying. And then uh, I guess Putin is saying, no, it was a uh, Ukrainian. So I'll have to wait, sit on that for a while and see what else comes out. But could that happen in America with all, you know, unfettered border? Of course it can. I mean, all you got to do is look back to the 9-11 hijackers. I think all of them overstay their visas. So. And then I'm a little ticked off, too. I went to... I don't know what the gas prices are where you live, but I wanted to get up town and get some gas before, you know, go at six o'clock or something like that when the gas station's open. And uh, it was four twenty-five a gallon. It's like gas prices are coming out. Well, I'm not in Washington, Oregon. And I know Washington's got a stupid legislature a couple of years ago passed a tax that went in to effect last year i think it's 50 cents a gallon when they already had high taxes on gallon you know on gas and if there's any other washingtonians out here they know that you got to pay a shit ton of uh tax when you register your car get your plates whatever but this is kind of a cool tree. Looks like a beaver may have been get, getting that at some point and it just floated down the river. But I like to know what, what gas prices are like in, in whatever state you live in, but you know. I go to Fred Meyer because it's close. And I get three three cents off per gallon, and then uh, at the end of the month you can get, you know, ten or more cents off per gallon, depending on how much money you freaking spend at their store. But it was still, I mean, four dollars and twenty five cents. We haven't seen four dollar gas forever. A couple weeks ago when I got gas, it was, I think it was three seventy nine. And I'm sure they're going to say, well, it's spring break and Easter's coming. People are going to be traveling. So, you know, and of course they're going from the the winter blend to the uh, summer blend. And every state has their own regulations on what the gas can be. So that increases the price more too. And we only have one oil refinery in Washington. There was zero in Oregon when I was down there, but uh, it's up in in Anacortes. So no wonder they want to kill fossil fuels here up in the Northwest and well California too. But uh, all that does is raise gas prices and shit. I wouldn't want an EV. Say I'm driving to Boise. You know from where I'm at you know I'd have to stop and charge and I have to wait for it instead of just pulling up to a pump 
and pumping some gas so I can get there. Because my car wouldn't make it all the way to Boise from where I'm at. Fucking idiots. But go check out that uh, Guns and Gadgets. Uh, it's on the community page. Uh, post. Go watch that video. If that if you're a Second Amendment guy, like I am, if that didn't get your blood pressure up, I don't know what will. And all this crap is... They just want to keep pushing all this crap and then force people to you know spend a shit ton of money on lawsuits and you know if the supreme court takes it or not is a different story you know it may get up to a uh, district court or you know circuit court or something like that but uh you know supreme court doesn't take every case that they get if you didn't know i mean a lot of times they just reprimand it back to the the lower court kind of like uh, the Ninth Circuit <laughs> which I live in most overturned court in the nation <sighs> I'm just looking forward to tomorrow I got church and I got I'm on coffee duty tomorrow so <laughs> I think I'm gonna be by myself, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> I think we make uh, four pots of caffeinated, one pot of uncaffeinated, and then uh, tea and setting up the, the coffee bar with all the tea and sugar and creamer and all that stuff. But, I just feel like I need to volunteer at the church as much as I can, so whether you agree or not, do you think I give a shit? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Looks like some people have been out here. That wasn't here the other day when I came here. Huh. I think it's 49 degrees. I think I checked it before I left. Come up here. Well, I hope everybody has a good Saturday and uh, get involved. Call your representative. Keep pounding them on whatever your issue you're passionate about. Otherwise, shut the hell up and don't complain. That's my opinion, so. I checked the water earlier on the other side of the river and it's still a little too cold to go waiting so anyway have a good have a good saturday and uh stay informed reach out to somebody say some prayers anybody that's believes in god say some prayers for this country and your fellow loved ones and yeah, peace out, and have a blessed day. Take care, guys. Peace out.